The sale of the Honolulu Star Advertiser's parent company, Black Press Media, has been finalized. Black Press has been in a restructuring phase since January. The Star Advertiser and other companies involved in the merger will now be under the management of Carpenter Media Group. Bryce Moore has details. The Star Advertiser's union units chair tells me employees are cautiously optimistic about the new ownership by Carpenter Media Group, but with the acquisition comes layoff concerns. We just don't know enough yet to, to know if that's going to be an issue. Um, we've been told that there aren't plans for, for any layoffs moving forward. I say that we're cautiously optimistic about the sale, but uh, candidly, morale is low, and it's been kind of low for a while. Nodell telling me communication with Black Press, Star Ad's current owner, hasn't been optimal, but hopefully Carpenter turns a new leaf. Newspaper layoffs announced in January led to unanswered questions. We point blank asked the company months ago, are we for sale? You know, what's going on? All of that said, you know, we're... We're entering a new era. We're, we're hoping that's that's going to be different. He hopes it's an era focused on local reporting. They need to understand that Hawaii is not just a resort destination. Uh, this, is, this is a real community with real problems, and we're, we're the seat of U.S. military power in, in this region. They, they've taken on a big kuleana here. Local journalism is so critical, so I'm glad that that is a focus that hopefully you'll be advocating for when you start to meet these new higher-ups. Assuming that we do, um, and I, I don't know. Um, I I personally, in, in the years that I've worked at, at the advertiser, I've never met uh, Dennis Francis, our publisher. Francis, who has been named as senior vice president for Carpenter Media Group, wasn't available for an interview today, but said in part through a statement they'll grow through these restructuring changes, bringing a capital injection that puts the company on stronger financial footing, as well as additional expertise in journalism excellence. The community can have confidence they will continue receiving the print, magazines, and digital content they love. Bryce Moore, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.